Hey, what's up, guys? Um, I don't know. You know, the whole reason I ever even shared any of my videos um, was because I, I knew I was a fighter. I knew I could get through things, you know, um, and I was good at beating myself up. Um, but I saw, like, a healing. I, I knew I had been to a, a real bottom, you know. I lost my mother, and I almost, I, I literally used to just drink myself right out of consciousness. Um, I almost drank myself to death for a short period, and, and I suffered from depression and anxiety, and, and, um, the addiction stemmed from the self-medication from all that. So basically, all my problems came from this great disorder in, in my family, in my community. Um, <clears throat> so I documented my videos. And unlike other people with these, these um, dramatic cinematic dramatic and cinematic showmanship I don't know like they just they everyone eats that up but I did it all for this one video this shitty video because I I fucking beat those addictions and I I beat the emotional abuse I beat all that abuse and that suffering that made me self-loathe and, and abuse myself and make it all go away. I never understood as a child why everything was made like everyone seems to want this beautiful, perfect life, but they work in the total opposite direction against it. Um, I'm on my way to work. I've been struggling a little bit lately, but my spiritual connection is there. And I constantly am achieving goals on a daily basis. I might not have much affirmation coming from anybody else. I feel like I'm getting attacked all the time. Um, everyone is miserable around me, and they're, they try to push their misery on me. But I try to stay ignorant to that, and that makes me seem like a big asshole from that person. If you think about it, me would. Um, so, you know, I just wanted some... That if just one person out here has been struggling and praying and suffering from every all, all their happiness constantly being out of reach and, and, and ripped away from them... Nothing is going to come good out of that and that suffering. And use it, the steel of your blade, and cut through that with diligence, hard work, and love for yourself. <laughs> and a connection to your higher power that's there that, that everyone taken away from us all the time. It's hard to live in such a lonely, ugly world. It really is, man. I don't. I didn't get on here a little bit, and usually I would let it want to be. I want you guys to just realize that there's many people in the community, and and the, all this stuff happened. And it helped a lot of people. It might be. It seems like it's over now, and, and everything's been censored to the hill, and uh, freedom of speech is almost like gone in America, depending on if Mark Zuckerberg uh, likes what you're talking about or not. So, um, I'm sure I, I, I reached some people. People did recognize what I was doing, but it wasn't for that. And it wasn't to be cinematic or make any exciting... Um, documentary to show that one person out there that's really on the verge of death that could be getting up every day and working hard with a straight face and, and, and shopping and taking care of his family or out in, in, inside they they feel broken and hurt and they're struggling with their problems and addictions and their own uh, 
things that kept them back in life. For the first time in my life, I have a cushion of money in the bank. And mistreated, like often happens in the cooking restaurant industry, you... The first time in my life, I feel of security because I, I, I dealt with those addictions and I watched every dollar that I used to throw away go into my bank account instead of to I, um, a, li a liquor store or an impulse Walmart buy or some stupid shit we don't need. And I'm not any great at it. Probably could have done better. And it would have been even better if the people around me would have been more supportive. But that's what you got to deal with. Because it's not about whether they've been supportive or not. And we have nothing to do with your, your, sh should be your happiness and, and safety and security and your freedom, divinity, sovereign. That feeling, that f divinity that's in every single one of us that we should all feel every day as we wake up and be born. Like, a notice you get older and you know you're just harboring your you're taking that's making you weigh down and be a girl. you're gaining mass and acceleration and becoming this let it go that's all I got to say let it go whoever's out there that cares and thanks a lot and uh, for being with me through the videos when I was throwing them out at every uh, every day or so but up with much and I think this is gonna wrap up this portion of my life and uh, continue with other things because the whole point was that I knew I had hepatitis and I was sick also from some drug abuse and uh, the other day I got the phone call there's no sign of it I'm cured I'm taking a one more dose of the Mavrid medication just to make sure I knew that I had to persevere to get to that I had to do to get to that point and it was not easy and it's, I've been working on this for about a good almost four years of my life. It almost took me every bit of that four years of, and I got knocked down more than a few times. And half of it was still struggling. But now I'm for more power to truth forever, man. Be conscious, be seeking the truth forever, guys. That's all I can say. And don't get weighed down on the physical material things. It's all, it's all about the principles and the powers behind.